Hi, my name's Nick Tan. I'm a singer-songwriter and a 12-string guitarist, and I'm going to show you a chord pattern that's going to help you play some really, really good blues chords. Okay, this is a seventh chord that I learned as a B7 here, but you can actually play this chord in a variety of different places. I'm going to show you it in a few different positions. The first position I'm going to show it to you in is in a G position. So what you're doing is you're playing with the middle finger first, third finger of the first string, which is, well, I call it the first string, because <laughs> the first string I see, uh, and that's G. First finger then goes on B, third finger then goes on F, and the little finger here goes on a D, on the B string. Okay, so that's third, third fret, second fret, third fret, third fret, and we're kind of jumping strings all the time, okay? So it will sound like this. Okay, so let's just show you that quickly again. G, B, F and D. Okay? Now what you can do is if you slide this chord two frets up, you then get yourself the A chord. Okay? So you've gone from the G to the A. Now these chords here can sound a little bit, these notes here can sound a bit dis, dis, bleh, a little bit discondent. Is that a word? I call that a word. Uh, but don't worry about that for the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to pick your way out of that. Now if you want to know more about picking and plectrum and finger picking work, I've done some other videos of that, so go and have a look at those and that will show you some right hand technique. This at the moment is left hand technique. So we've gone from the G to the A. We can also go to a B. We just keep sliding this chord around. So all you've got to learn is the pattern. Now the clever thing about this is not only can you play it here, starting off on your E string, you can also shift the whole thing again over one set of strings and play it what I call on the A string. So here you've got a C, an E, ooh, uh, that's, that's a nice note, uh, B flat and a G here. So there you've got a C7 position. Yeah, and you can also again slide it up to a D. So you've got D, F sharp, C, uh, and A. That's testing me a little bit. Okay, so you've got from C to the D. And again, these are a little bit discondent. I don't think discondent's a word, but we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, so what you can do is once you've got the. Make a song out of it, which is what I did a couple of years ago, and this is a song of mine called One Night Stand. And remember what I said about don't worry about these bits at the top here. What's important is these three, these three notes here, because they're the meat. And so if you start picking and muting, you can get a bit clever with this. See, it can be quite quite clever that. Uh, what's nice is that this works better on the 12 string than any other guitar uh, because because you're sort of picking about randomly, um, you can sometimes just pick up a the octave and not and not the bass note. So you can it, it sounds like a lot more than it actually is. Uh, and so you might have also noticed my left hand as I'm going from one a type of hand off. Yeah, it just adds an extra dimension and it just, I don't know, it just gives it a little bit more body. The other thing you can do with this, which is a technique that, you, that a lot of six string players um, miss out on because a lot of six string players when they play 12 string they try and do things like bending the notes and you can't really bend notes on a 12 string it doesn't quite sound that good but what you can do is slide uh, and that gives you the similar sort of effect so you can go okay so that is the magic seven chord keep practicing Thank <laughs> you.